Oh my god! Well, no, there is no, there is no weed in my <laughs> We are going to turn the program over to my co-chairman, Jack Hathaway. He's going to make some presentations. We're going to pull the wrap up because we're going to Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to once again our 22nd. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, we, the mayor and the baseball team are on their way, but we need to begin this. Hopefully you can still see your raffle tickets uh, when we pick the winner. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'd like to thank all of the sponsors. Uh, all these people you've seen on the billboards have been a tremendous help to us, these corporate sponsors. The premier amongst them is limits the credit union without whom we couldn't have done any of this. They're responsible uh, helping us with the fireworks, uh, putting the whole program together and donating a great deal of money for this cause. So through them we really appreciate it. And I believe there is a Kelly Maroney. Kelly, are you out here? Come on up, Kelly. From limits the credit union, Kelly Maroney, we'd like to uh, have her say a few words if you don't mind. getting chilly. Hi everyone. Hope you're having fun. Uh, it's my honor to be receiving this tonight and to be part of Lemister Credit Union to make all of this possible. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great night. I'm going to give you a certificate that you can bring back. And uh, I'll just, uh, it should be right here. Hang on. Thank you, Kelly, and thank the credit union once again for all they've done. Uh, other people, of course, that helped us, uh, the DPW uh, Essential, they're very good to us. Uh, Lemister Fire Department, Lemister Emergency Management, uh, the firefighters, Local 1841, have been terrific with us uh, for their donation. The program book that you've been given has a, a photograph on it, actually it's a drawing, and there's been a poster that has been in and around town that you've seen. These were drawn by kids at the high school in a contest, and I'm not sure if the kids are here, but the winner of the, uh, the program book cover, her name is Kayla Correa. Kayla, if you're here, come on up. And uh, the poster that you've seen around town was done by, his name is Griffin Finnegan. With a name like that, he should be winning everything. So, if you're here, please come up. I do have some gift certificates for you. This would be the time that we would get the mayor to come on up and say a few words, but as you see, he's not here, and neither are the players from the state champion Lemons High School Blue Devils. They shall be along shortly, and we'll be introducing them. So in the meantime, I get to present the citizens of the year, and I get to give them some plaques and hear a word from them. Uh, Dennis Rosa, our uh, representative, is also here. He's got some words to say as well. Senator Jen Flanagan is, uh, is not with us this evening. But uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'll bring the citizens of the year up. They are, in no particular order, Mark Bedanza and Donna Danino. Ladies and gentlemen, the citizens of the year. Dennis 
Rosie, the state representative of the 4th Worcester District. I offer you greetings from the Massachusetts House of Representatives. This is just a wonderful night. I've been doing this for six years. I haven't missed a night. I would never miss a night here. I hope everybody's having a good time. If you're having a good time, can we give a loud cheer? All right. Cheer for Jack Hathaway for everything he's done. Hey. I've got a couple citations here for Citizens of the Year. The first one is for Donna Donino, a school committee member for 16 years. She has done so much for our children in this city and even children outside the city that you can't imagine how it's affected families in our city and the community that surround us. So congratulations for being citizen of the year, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives. He is here now, he is here now, known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives office is sincere. Congratulations to Donna Danino in recognition of being honored as Lemus' 2014 Citizen of the Year for your commitment and dedicated service to the city and its residents. Congratulations, Donna. And my next citation is for Mark Bedanza, city councilor, lawyer, and also an author. He's done all kinds of things for the city. He's brought history back to the city so that our children, our families, will know everything that went on in the city so that we'll have a legacy that will go on and on for years. He's just been a great community member and I have a citation for him from the Commonwealth of Mass. And we offer him congratulations. And both of these citations, by the way, are signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert A. DeLeo, and myself. Congratulations, Mark Bedanza. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. And now, speaking on behalf of the mayor. Well, I've ne that's never happened to me before. Look out, Dean, I may run. No, that's not true. Uh, Mark and Donna, I have some other things for you, uh, some from Senator Jen Flanagan. I have some things from Congressman um, Jim McGovern. And from the city of Lemons, uh, relative to Starburst Committee and the mayor. Lemister Citizens of the Year 2014, in recognition of your personal dedication, service, and devotion to this city, its citizens, and its way of life, Donna Danino, Mark Bedanza. Thank you very much. And I shall read, once again, this time in behalf of Congressman, uh, no, this is uh, from Jen Flanagan. From the State Senate, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to, in recognition, be it further known, Massachusetts Senate extends best wishes. Citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to and a copy of transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate, Donna Danino, Mark Bedanza. Thank you very, very much. And, not that you have anything more left, from Congressman Jim McGovern, Congressional Recognition Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition for Outstanding and Invaluable Service to the Community, signed James P. McGovern, Member of Congress, Donna Donino, Mark Bedanza. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Dennis. Donna, if you would like to start. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for these honors. I'm very appreciative and as I'm very appreciative because I believe it brings recognition to our schools and our children in education. So for that, I'm very thankful. Good evening. Um, I'm very humbled by this award and the award is just a um, reflection of really the support of a lot of good people, uh, namely my wife Adele, of course, and my family. And um, you know, I'm just blessed to be a citizen of this city. 
and have so many great relationships with so many wonderful people, and that's really what this award is all about. I would be remiss also to mention sort of an unsung hero. I didn't really want to mention names tonight, but because the uh, baseball team just won the state championship, um, the coach, the first year coach, Richard Barnaby, his, fa his father, Dickie Barnaby, who's not with us, passed a few years ago, would be incredibly proud of his son. And I think we should sort of all keep him in our mind tonight. He's passed away a couple years ago, and he, would, he did so many things for this city, not a lot of which was recognized, but uh, hats off to Dick Barnaby. Thank you. Now, I've got one more thing left for the two of you, or actually the three of you. I have some boxes behind you, and those contain the winning numbers and uh, the raffle 50-50 and the Red Sox ticket winner. And I also have a bucket from Buffalo uh, Wild Wings. So let's start with the Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings wants you to know that this is a bucket of uh, things, all kinds of things, and I see four gift certificates there, and uh, you filled out your name, and if you were here, this is belongs to you. I'm looking for Noel Roy. Is there Noel Roy? And the bus is here. Two seconds, we get the drawing done and we're cooking. Noel Roy, there's a bucket here waiting for you. Okay, now. Inside this box is the winner of the Red Sox tickets, two $103 tickets on the uh, third base left field side, and a $100 cash. In this box, Mr. Bedanza, you're the closest, would you mind, sir? The winner belongs to someone named Sandy. That's all it says. They didn't put their last name. Sandy. I'd read your phone number, but the whole world would call. So I've got your hundred dollars. It's mine. Thank you. Sandy, it's waiting for you. I'll call. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the 50-50 uh, raffle. The winner of this envelope takes home $239. $239 for this winner. Miss Dino. The number reads as follows. Get out your cell phones. Check the number with the light. The number is 468-9500. Say that again. Four, six, eight, nine, two, six. Belongs to you. Two hundred thirty-nine dollars. I think we got a winner. It says four, six, eight, nine, two, six. Thank you, honey. What's your name? Kylie. Congratulations. You're rich. Thank you again. Rosa, thank you very much. We appreciate you.
And that should wrap up the festivities. And you're all set, Mr. Hewson. Stripes, you'll see a large flag drop down in the pole on that side. <laughs> 